Okay, well, um, we're really happy, as Chris mentioned, to have you all here today participating in this process. Um, the purpose of today is to be interactive and to really have a rich conversation around the concept of these 21st century skills and how you can achieve them. We're also going to explore a couple of things. One, the world of digital badges. Um, we'd like to secondly get your feedback related to these digital badging ideas. And finally, we want to allow you all to develop, a, develop your own ideas around digital badging and your own, own concepts there. Um, so each of you has a workbook in front of you. So it looks like this. So you want to uh, really take good care of that because that's what we're going to be using today throughout our process. So if you would open up here, we're going to dive right in right now with the first activity. And so on your first page, you're going to see a scale, it's similar. And so I want you to start off with, take a moment, um, how aware are you of 21st century skills? So take a look at the scale and mark on it where you believe, are you very aware to no awareness? Next, I want you to grab a set of post-it notes and start writing down 21st century skills that you know of. And we'd like for you to use one uh, sticky note per skill. And for the next three, four minutes, just write as many as you can think about 21st century skills, one skill per post-it note, and then just put it on your table next to you. Um, and we'll be using those post-it notes in a minute. Now we have you set up in, in groups, so group of three, group of three, group of two here, and you can see yours in front of you. And so now we're each gonna give you a Sharpie and want you to take Transfer what you wrote on your sheet of paper of your scale and write it on this board. So each one of you will put where you feel you are aware of 21st century skills. And then once you to take all your posties up as a, as a group and put them together in what you would think is themes. Okay, um, so... You want to turn to the next page in your workbook. All right, so you're going to notice on the diagram that there are four different settings that are mentioned. So there's inside the classroom, outside the classroom, family, and work. Um, so we want you to take the next eight, ten minutes to really think through and list the learning experiences that have been most meaningful to you in each of those four settings. And I'll say, too, as you're thinking this through, learning experience really is a subjective term. So use whatever definition you want to use with it, whatever makes sense to you. All right, so now what we'd like for you to do is to turn to the next page in your workbook. So it's titled 21st Century Skills I Have Acquired. You'll notice it has the same graphic there. But you also notice at the bottom that there is a list of 21st century skills detailed for you. So what we'd like for you to do now is to write down the skills that you have developed in each of those four settings. All of the skills that you have written down, we want you to circle the ones that you believe employers would find most valuable. Talk through any trends that you saw emerging. Um, were there some settings where you think you developed more of your skills than others? Um, and, and kind of a little bit about what this exercise kind of revealed to you. But on this next exercise, you can see it's the same, uh, a similar looking uh, page up on the, the wall. And so on column A, I want you to again, flip back to the page that we were just at. And in that white spot on column A, I want you to write down a skill um, that you have developed in the previous exercise. So as you're going to see, there's a, about a dozen ways to demonstrate proof of your skills. Under that, and it's a skill name, I want you to use that list and ident uh, identify um, which one of those do you think would be the best? There could be several of those, but which one of those ways would be the best to demonstrate that you have achieved that skill that you've listed in column A? So now in column B, again, look back at your list on the previous page, or you can choose the same skill that you developed. Put another skill that you developed or the same skill that you developed into column B. But this time, how are you going to convince an employer that you've developed this skill not using any of these ways? Go ahead up to the board. And we're going to start in column A. And we've listed a skill that an employer might think is important. There's a different one for each group. Um, I want you in column A to list the experiences you might have had inside and outside the classroom that could help you achieve this skill. This time, we want you to think about how could you prove it? How would you prove to an employer 
that you have achieved this skill. And that's what we'll do on um, column B. So uh, digital badges, really briefly, have sort of emerged from the gaming industry. Uh, so if you're a gamer, uh, you've probably you know, heard the term more associated with gaming or this notion of sort of leveling or uh, you know, sort of like accumulating awards right, that allow me to get the next level, improve my player status, things of that nature. Uh, but in the, in the use within education, it's about the ability to capture and display accomplishments that you've acquired. The traditional measures that you use to demonstrate things like on my resume aren't really that deep, right? They don't get at those skills in a way that we probably can using digital badges. Great, so let's turn to the next page in your workbook. So this is going to be exercise five, the badge value evaluation. And because Tufts University really does believe in the possibility of badging, um, we're interested in designing our own badge. And our plan is to do that, but with your feedback. So we'd like for you to take about 10 minutes to answer the questions on this exercise five. Because now we're going to... Final exercise here. Um, I wish I had a badge. So on that card, I want you to draw or put the name of a badge that you think would be important to have, that you would like to have. I put teamwork. And I'm an incredible artist with stick figures. So if you're not an artist, that's okay. Next to it, after that, you're going to put how are two skills you can see on your worksheet there. Um, two skills. That you, how did you learn it from inside the classroom? How did you learn it from outside the classroom? And how would you convince someone else to achieve your badge? And, and if you've got more than one idea, you can do more than one as well. You don't have to limit yourself to one particular badge. Well, what are some of your takeaways from today? Did you see themes or kind of what would you leave this discussion thinking about? I think people want to be able to show that they have acquired certain skills and that they have it. Uh, sometimes it gets a little tedious kind of proving that you can do something or like being asked the same question like in job interviews. It's like, well, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? What do you need to work on? It's like I have had that question so many times. So to have a badge to display that you have achieved certain things, I think will just kind of prove it. Even though, I mean, you can back it up definitely because how else would you earn the badge in the first place, but having something like that, that you want to achieve and you want to work toward, I think will just kind of become its own incentive, like the badge is its own. No, I think you would really have to get um, employers and those who, basically employers who want these skills. It would be nice like to see like other people's like teamwork badge. So like say if someone else has a teamwork badge, then you know like, you're going to work well with that person because they're also going to help you try to pursue what you're trying to like, get across.